Last year, Yannick Azawa released the WO series for alto sax, and now they have introduced the tenor equivalents. So in front of me, I've got the first in the series in the tenor range, the WO1. Now, for a more detailed technical improvement analysis, please check my video on the alto equivalent, the alto WO1. But in brief, the technical changes that they've made include a repositioning of the E flat key down here, um, an enhanced tenon plate up here, this whole chunky section here, so there's a better resonance and transfer of sound from the neck through to the body. Uh, there's a supporting plate underneath the palm keys here. They've also um, added some extra material and mass underneath these side right hand keys for better stability. And they've reshaped the front auxiliary F key. Now, the obvious question on everyone's lips is going to be, how does this compare to the old T900 uh, series um, in terms of its sound? And what Yannick Azar have done here is that they've resourced the brass material and they've also slightly changed the bore shape. And these two things in combination, I think, give us a slightly more focused and darker sound at the same time. I suppose pushing it a little bit more in the tradition of sound saxophones. It's also worth me saying that I'm reviewing the first model in the series here, which is the W01. However, I think you'd hear these same tonal differences in the models above. So that's the, the W02, a bronze model, the W010, another brass model, and the W020, uh, the top bronze model. Um, and they've all got the same technical changes, all these models in the entire series. Um, but I think you'd probably hear a little less difference in the bronze models because the resourcing of the brass material has had a significant effect on the actual tonal output. Um, I think, in general, this change of direction, particularly with the tenor, is a good thing for Yanagazawa, as perhaps in the past they've been slightly criticised for having a slightly lighter sound. The whole framework of the sound has been on the lighter side. And just putting it in that slightly kind of denser sound, a bit more focused, a bit darker, just kind of puts them on the radar of a lot of tenor sax players out there. Now, um, one thing that has remained absolutely true to Yanagazawa is their absolute clarity of tone and the ease of response. This has remained, and for me, this is a, a lovely aspect of all Yanagazawa saxophones. Um, and I think that's what, them, what makes them amongst the most pleasurable to play. So I hope you enjoy trying it out, if you can come to one of our shops to do that.